Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And we're going to put good old cowgirl through her paces again today. Now, if you remember, there used to be a bread maker back here. And I used to just use that for mixing my bread dough. Um, let's let the cowgirl go through her paces. What I've got here is two cups of warm water. Now remember, the water needs to be warm, not cold. For one simple reason. Yeast is a bacteria. And it will, hot water will kill it. Put in about a teaspoon of sugar there. And we're going to put in about, uh, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half, maybe, of yeast. And we're going to give that a second. Then we're going to start, we're going to turn it on and we're going to start adding flour. Okay. Now that we have our yeast has started to rise, we're going, we have the dough hook in. And we're just going to put it on stir. Let's put our little shield on with the pour spout so that we don't have to worry about um, splashing or flour jumping up. And let's start with one cup of flour. And we'll just continue to add flour by the cup Oops. until uh, it gets to the consistency that I like. After the first cup of flour goes in, I like to add about a teaspoon of salt and a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I don't really think this is necessary at this point. And we've got two cups of flour in there. I'm going to use the half cup measure now just because it's easier to pour it in. So that's two cups and a half. My goodness, the poor thing. Let's see if I can bring you guys a little closer so you can see what's going on. And look at that, I can bring her right to the edge of the counter. There we go. So that's two and a half cups of flour. Let's do another one, another half a cup. A half a cup of flour should just about do it. Let's have a look. I'm going to say, let's unlock, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to need let this knead just a few more minutes, but that is just about there. That's just about there. There we go. That looks good. All right. Let's unlock her. That's, that's a lovely consistency, actually. It's a little dry on the bottom, a little moist on top, and I'm loving, I heard that these, the ones in the bakery had aluminum paddles. These are powder coated, and look how nice that dough just comes right off of there. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to cover this with a clean tea towel, and we're going to let it rise, and we'll be back when it's doubled in bulk. Okay, our dough has risen beautifully, I might add. Look at that. So we're just going to, woo, it's a little sticky. I'm going to get my uh, spatula out here. And I'm going to, oops, I think maybe I should have buttered the bowl. Okay. That's looking lovely. Now this is just your basic plain bread, plain white bread. And uh, I'm just going to shape it into a nice loaf. And I'm making uh, potato soup tonight, so this should be just perfect. Alrighty, we're going to shake out the cloth here. And we're just going to cover this up and let it rise again. Alrighty, let's have a look. Ooh, isn't that lovely? Now we're going to put this in, an oven, in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And it seems to have fallen a little bit when I put it in the oven, but that's okay. It didn't go flat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pastry brush and a little bit of butter, and I'm just going to coat the top with a little bit of butter. That helps it to uh, soften up. 
And for about a half an hour, I'm just going to take this tablecloth and cover over top and let that just rest for about a half an hour and the, the crust will soften up. All right, it's been about a half an hour and let's have a look at our bread. Oh, look how nice and soft that is. Look at that. So now what I'm going to do so that it doesn't get too heavily moistured from sitting in the pan, we're going to wrap it in this tablecloth. Maybe I better start it this way. We're going to wrap it in the tablecloth and it's just going to stay that way until supper when we're going to have it with a nice pot of, or at least some of it, with a nice pot of potato cheese soup. Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfley from our Half Acre Homestead. Today I'm going to try something different. I made bread, as you saw yesterday, um, and I have uh, some leftover cheese potato soup from supper last night, and I'm going to make put some of that into my bread today because I'm going to make bread again because bread's a daily thing around here. So first off, let's get our yeast started. I'm going to put oh, I'm going to put about a half a cup of warm water with a couple of sugar cubes in there and get my yeast started. Now the reason I'm going to put my cheese potato or some of my cheese potato soup in my bread is because when I was a little girl, my mother would save the potato water for mashed potatoes sometimes and or from boiling potatoes and she'd put it in the bread. So I thought, well, I've put onions and garlic in bread, I've put cheese in bread. Why not some cheese potato soup? It should go really nice in bread. So keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to throw my salt in. The reason I'm doing this, another reason I'm doing this, is because a lot of times you can substitute part of your flour in bread with mashed potatoes. So when the yeast starts to bubble, I'm going to add flour. And I'm going to add my pureed cheese potato soup. Okay, now that our yeast has started to foam up, I'm going to start, I'm going to put it on stir. And I'm going to add some flour. Just to get the dough started. And that's about a cup. And then I'm going to add some of our pureed cheese potato soup. Now let's add it all. I really hope this works. I went out, also went ahead and added another teaspoon of yeast just to be on the safe side. Now I don't think this is going to change the flavor much, but I do think or I hope it will make a difference in the consistency of the bread. Right. Let's add some more flour. So now we're up to a cup and a half. And I think I can take this off now that I'm not pouring any liquid in. And I'm going to turn this up to two. And scrape down the sides a bit. You have to be very careful with the KitchenAid, folks. It is a powerful piece of machinery. You do not want to get your fingers anywhere near that beater bar or dough hook. Let's go and add another cup of flour, half a cup of flour. So what are we up to now? Two cups? Check the consistency of the dough. Um, it needs just a wee bit more flour, I think. Not much, not much at all. Let's put the cowgirl back down, lock her in, and put it on stir, and bring it up to two. Let's 
butter our bowl that we're going to rise it in. And that looks just about nicely kneaded. This is what's left of yesterday's bread in the cloth here. Unlock her. Oh yeah, that's lovely. All right, so we're going to put that in there. And let's take our equipment apart for cleaning. And we're going to cover our bread bowl. God, I just love this machine. And it cleans up in a snap. Now, I've been told not to leave it at, for any length of time on the tilt back position because um, the machinery parts inside um, are oiled and you can drain the oil. But, you know, it can drain down into the wrong parts. So there we go, cowgirl. Now let's cover up our cheese potato bread and keep our fingers crossed. All right, there we go. And we will be back, hopefully, hopefully, when this rises. All righty. Let's have a look at our bread. Oh, look at that. It rolls just beautiful. Just beautiful. So let's punch it down. And we'll turn it out on the floured cloth here. I'm just going to, now that it's deflated, I'm just going to roll it up just like that and put it in the pan just like that. I'm going to shake my cloth out into the sink here. And I'm just going to cover this and let it rise again. All right, let's have a look at our bread made with potato cheese soup. Oh, look at that. It's, it rose, but then it, it went down again a little bit. Well, let's pop it in the oven and see what happens. Okay, here comes our bread, fresh out of the oven. Now, for some reason, oh, Jesus, I'm dropping it. For some reason, when I, it happened yesterday, and it happened again today. As soon as I took the cloth off to check my bread, the um, it, it kind of fell a little bit. But it has not changed the yumminess of the bread. Now we're just going to, again, like we did with our loaf yesterday, we're just going to butter the top and just... Throw the floured cloth over top and let it set and rest for a little bit. I want to show you the bread from yesterday. This is all that's left of the bread from yesterday. And it is wonderful. It is just wonderful bread. It's, it's soft, it's moist, it's crusty. It's wonderful. Anyway, that's French toast for Howie's breakfast tomorrow. All right, let's try our potato soup bread. It's still quite hot, but as you can see, by buttering it, now you don't want to leave it in the pan for more than a half an hour, or else it will get really moist on the bottom. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, it smells so good. Now, I have got to try this. That's lovely and nice and moist. A little bit of butter. Let's try our potato cheese bread. Our potato soup bread. Mmm. The flavor is not overpowering, but it just gives it a little extra. A little extra kick. Oh God, is it ever good? Mm. 
It was just a Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying leftover mashed potatoes, leftover potato potato soup, leftover potato water from your boiled potatoes. Put it in your bread. It's amazing.